Seen here in the eastern region of the Altai Mountains of Mongolia is the Siberian Ibex. This is a large and heavily built goat species. Their coats vary in color, ranging from dark brown to light tan, with some reddish individuals. There is usually a stripe of darker hair down the center of the back and onto the tail, and some males have saddle-like patches on the back in the winter. The undersides are paler, and in the winter, mature males becoming much darker with white patches. Females and infants are generally blander in color and do not always have the stripe down the back. The nimble sure-footedness so characteristic of this species is readily observable as we see this adult male descending the nearly vertical rocky cliff of its habitat. Principally a diurnal animal, the Siberian ibex has alternating periods of resting and activity throughout the day. Although the Siberian ibex lives at high elevations and often climbs up to the vegetation line at 5,000 meters or 16,000 feet, as a general rule, they seek out lower slopes during the winter. These slopes are generally steep and southward facing, areas where snow has difficulty covering in large amounts over large stretches of time. However, when the snow cover is heavy, Siberian ibex must find food by pawing away at the snow with their forelegs in order to reach the vegetation concealed below. If threatened, Siberian ibex flee to steep, rocky cliffs. The Siberian ibex's overall distribution is alpine meadows and crags in Central Asia. This video sequence of adult female and juvenile Siberian ibexes reveals their ability to rapidly ascend their nearly vertical mountainous habitat, an ability that often serves them very well in eluding the snow leopard. Tarbigan marmots are rodents with stout bodies and short limbs. They weigh between 13 to 18 pounds and measure from 20 to 24 inches in length. Tarbigan marmots traditionally breed every other year in April after a successful yield of offspring. Gestation lasts approximately 40 to 42 days. Births occur at the end of May and young emerge from the burrow in June. Litter size is usually between four and six, but tarbigan marmots can produce litters of up to eight offspring. Tarbigan marmots are keystone species, playing a vital role in the biogeographic zones they occupy. For example, in the arid steppe habitat, burrows of tarbigan marmots are used by corsic foxes. Although capable of making burrows by themselves, 
Corsic Fox's use of pre-existing marmot burrows enhances their survival, as this behavior is an energy-efficient adaptation to their environment, which is characterized by fluctuating food resources. Well-furred cats from the cold Asian steppes, Pelos' cats are also called Manul, Steppe Cat, or Rock Wild Cat. These small cats have a stocky body with thick, soft fur and an abundant, dark, woolly underfur which is double the length of that of the rest of the body. Pelos cats occur in Central Asia from the Caspian Sea through Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Northern India to Central China, Mongolia, and Southern Russia. Their habitat is characterized by an extreme continental climate with little rainfall, low humidity, and a wide range of temperatures. These small predators prefer valleys and rocky areas where they have some cover and avoid completely open habitats. They also avoid areas of snow cover that exceed 4 inches, and the continuous snow cover of 6 to 8 inches marks the ecological limit of this species. Pelos cats look much heavier than they really are due to their stocky build and thick coat. They are well adapted to their habitat. The thick fur coat insulates them against the cold, and the well-furred tail can be wrapped around the body like a warm muff. The well-developed nictitating membrane, third eyelid, may afford protection against both the cold winds and the regular dust storms which arise in parts of their range. They are able to climb rocky crevices and cliff faces with ease. The flat head and low-set ears are thought to be adaptations for stalking prey in open areas with relatively little cover. They hide for much of the day in caves or hollows under stones or may adopt the burrows of other creatures, such as marmots or foxes. Activity peaks at dusk and dawn, but they may be active at any time. Their most important prey species is the small pika, which makes up 50% of their diet. They have three distinct hunting techniques, stalking by creeping around cover, moving and flushing animals out of hiding, and waiting in ambush at rodent burrows. They are not known to kill any livestock or poultry. Shavalsky's horse became extinct in Mongolia in the 1960s, but it was returned to the wilds of several areas of Mongolia in the 1990s. The populations of this wild horse are increasing in these areas, although the species is still listed as endangered. The bearded vulture, also known as the Lammergeier, is a bird of prey and the only member of the genus Gepetus. Traditionally considered an old world vulture, it actually forms a minor lineage of Asipitridae, together with the Egyptian vulture, its closest living relative. The present population of the relict gull is estimated to be at about 10,000 individuals or less, with numbers dropping. It is classified as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Its greatest threats are changes of water level in breeding lakes, predation from other gulls, hailstorms, and flooding. Human disturbances has increased their vulnerability to these factors, resulting in further risks for the adult gulls and increased mortality for chicks and eggs. The summer habitat of the bar-headed goose is high-altitude lakes where this species grazes on short grass. It has been reported as migrating south from Tibet, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and Russia before crossing the Himalayas.
The domestic yak, Bos gruniens, is a long-haired domesticated bovid found throughout the Himalayan region of the Indian subcontinent, the Tibetan Plateau, northern Myanmar, Yunnan, Sichuan, and as far north as Mongolia and Siberia. It is descended from the wild yak, Bos mutis. Seen here are five gray wolf pups. The mother is nearby. The largest of approximately 41 extant wild species of canids, gray wolves vary in size based primarily on geographic locality, with southern populations generally smaller than northern populations. Fur color of gray wolves also varies geographically, ranging from pure white in arctic populations to mixtures of white and gray, brown, cinnamon, and black to nearly uniform black in some color phases. As in other areas of the world, gray wolves in Mongolia are top predators. The gray wolf numbers in Mongolia are decreasing, largely as a function of hunting. Saiga are a nomadic, sexually dimorphic antelope species that were formerly widespread across the Central Asian steppe. There are two subspecies, one in Kazakhstan and Russia and another in Mongolia. Throughout their range, saiga populations have dramatically declined from overharvesting, poaching, severe winter weather, and competition with livestock. Varied but consistent counts suggests that less than 5,000 Mongolia saiga remain in the wild as of 2019. Mongolian saiga have great recovery potential, with high fecundity and regular rates of twinning. The development and implementation of adequate protection measures could ensure that Mongolian saiga can fully recover in the wild. The IWS has worked in partnership with the Wildlife Conservation Society to develop and implement efficacious methods for monitoring saiga population trends. Monitoring entails a suite of research activities that focus on repeatable population surveys with details about age and sex ratio, movement patterns, habitat use, calf production and survival, and the role of human, environmental, and ecological factors that impact survival and mortality. Monitoring is necessary to assist anti-poaching units and education programs aimed at conserving wild Mongolian saiga. Investigations headed by the Institute for Wildlife Studies have had the following objectives with regard to understanding calf survival of Mongolian saiga. One, identifying calving areas. Two, comparing birth timing, twinning rates, and morphological characteristics with historical data. And three, determining survival rates of neonates. The ruddy shell duck mostly inhabits inland water bodies such as lakes, reservoirs, and rivers. The male and female form a lasting pair bond and the nest may be well away from water in a crevice or hole in a cliff, tree, or similar site. 
a clutch of about eight eggs is laid and is incubated solely by the female for about four weeks. The young are cared for by both parents and fledge about eight weeks after hatching. Stand still, please. Seen here are parents and two demoiselle crane chicks. A major threat to this species is habitat loss, including desertification, changes in agriculture practices, human disturbance, dams and water diversions, and illegal take, including hunting, trapping, and poisoning. The Cenarius vulture is a large raptorial bird that is distributed through much of Eurasia. It is also known as the black vulture, monk vulture, or Eurasian black vulture. It is a member of the family Asipitridae, which also includes many other diurnal raptors, such as kites, buzzards, and harriers. Although it had not been seen in the Greater Gobi B strictly protected area for more than 10 years, the wild Bactrian camel was encountered by our safari group. The individual seen here is a lone male that may have been ousted from a herd located further south in the Gobi Desert. Only about 1,400 wild Bactrian camels survive. Most live on the Lop Nur Wild Camel National Nature Reserve in China, and a smaller population lives in the Greater Gobi A strictly protected area in Mongolia. Therefore, our documentation of a wild Bactrian camel in the Greater Gobi B strictly protected area was of considerable interest to local naturalists. Upon observing this footage, they confirmed that indeed this was a wild Bactrian camel and not a domestic Bactrian camel. Wild Bactrian camels are separated evolutionarily from domestic Bactrian camels by about 1.1 million years. The Mongolian wild ass, also known as Mongolian kulan, is the nominate subspecies of the onager. It is found in southern Mongolia and northern China. It was previously found in eastern Kazakhstan and southern Siberia before being extirpated there through hunting. As of 2015, the Mongolian wild ass is listed as near-threatened by the IUCN. Current population estimates are approximately 42,000 individuals in Mongolia and around 5,000 individuals in northern China. As can be seen here, this is a robust species. It does very well in the harsh, dry conditions of the Gobi. The goitered or black-tailed gazelle has a wide distribution range covering about 20 countries in the Arabian Peninsula, across the Middle East, and Asia to Kazakhstan, Mongolia, China, and Pakistan. Black-tailed gazelles are found in arid deserts and desert steppe habitats. Only male black-tailed gazelles have horns, which grow from about 10 to 17 inches long. In summer, small family groups of two to five animals are formed, while in winter, large herds with dozens or even hundreds of individuals are the norm. 
the black-tailed gazelles move seasonally and can cover up to about 20 miles per day in the winter time. In the summer, the distance they travel is substantially shorter. The black-tailed gazelle can run at speeds of almost 40 miles per hour. The basic habitat requirements are the availability of water, shallow snow cover in winter, and broken terrain or vegetation as cover. The recent estimates suggest that the population number is about 120 to 140,000 animals, with the largest share in Mongolia, about 40 to 60 percent of the global population. The number of black-tailed gazelle has decreased significantly over the last decade. The key threats include illegal hunting and habitat loss. The last one is the result of expanding infrastructure development, agricultural conversion, and increasing livestock numbers across the species range. In Mongolia, heavy poaching has wiped out almost all the large herds and cut the numbers by almost 50%. The population in Turkmenistan has almost disappeared in recent years due to illegal hunting. The black-tailed gazelle is listed in the CMS Appendix 2. It is recommended for cooperative action, rapid measures to assist the conservation of species listed under Appendix 2.